Okay, so we're going to start with one long line, okay? And it's going to come out, loop, and back, okay? I'm going to fix my loop because I think it's a little too big. Notice as we do these tutorials, if I don't like what I'm drawing, I will constantly fix it. Which means, if you don't like your line, what can you do? Fix it. Fix it. I will go nice and slow so that we all have an opportunity to be successful in our drawings. There we go. I like that line better. Okay, right on the edge of your line, you are going to start with a circle. Okay. Now you're going to see me go around a few times until I feel like I like the shape of my circle. And I'm going to wait until I feel like we're all on the same page. Does it need to be darker, Poe? Are you okay? Over here? Is that good? Okay. Yep. I just want to make sure you all can see it. Okay, from there, right next to it, you're going to do a little smaller circle. Does anyone want to guess what we're drawing yet? Will tell. Come in. Hey, can I get that happy? What did you say? Will tell. A motel? Uh, no, whale. Like a whale tail. Oh, no, not a whale, whale. tail, but that's close. Yeah. A butterfly? Yeah. Nope. It is 942. Oh, you guys are all so close. It's not a horse, but I could totally see how you would guess that. Totally see that. It is an animal, but we're going to move on, and we're going to do another step, and then I'll let you guess again, okay? It's a tube of macaroni. You guys are all wrong. It's a stinger. We're going to continue drawing, and then I will let you guess again. Okay. We are now going to connect. It's a well. It's not a well. I guess it's not a well. They've already asked. Those lines together. Snake. Oh, the yeah, snake? Yes, yeah, snake. It's the closest so far, but it's not a snake. Oh. You got close. Worm. Okay, <laughs> from oh, here, you are going to want to watch. You are going to take the line underneath and you're going to follow it. Make sure that it's at least symmetrical. I don't want to see any like big old bumpy lines. We want it to be symmetrical. It's, a dinosaur. it's not a dinosaur, but you're getting closer. Plesiosaur. Nope. I hope that you are drawing. You can guess later. Okay, notice I came in front of that line. And I'm coming back. Am I going too fast? No, yes. I okay. just figured it out. It's a snail. It's not a snail. What? Okay, and then you're just going to taper that line oh, wait. to the back. Seahorse. I, I did say that the snake was the closest oh. guess. Eel. Nope. Okay, so we're going to stop here for a sec. I'm going to erase all the lines that I don't need. And we're going to stay right here for now. Oh, I should have put them lower. Dang it, I'm not going to have enough room. That's okay. Is it far? That looks good. I thought, I thought maybe it would be worse. Like I said, I mean, it looks definitely like that shape. And the snake is obviously the most accurate answer, but it's not a snake. Yes, it what? is a serpent dragon. Oh, like the Chinese oh. dragon. You guys are awesome. Okay, so I'm going to taper my tail just a little bit more because I want more of a sharp point at the end. Then on the sides, I'm going to draw two circles and connect with a heart shape. Okay. The circles allow for a more accurate shape. 
for the heart. And then once I'm done with the circles, I'm going to go ahead and erase them and just readjust my tail till I like it. The next two lines I'm going to go ahead and erase are these ones right in the center. Okay, You're going to want to erase the ones that are in the front. So now we see more of that tube-like direction. And if you're on the sidelines on the edges here, if you can't see what's going on and you oh. need to move closer, you can. Yeah, I'm letting you move. You can move over here. All right. How many of you are to this point and are ready to move on? Raise your hand. Okay, that's not enough. We're going to wait a little longer. You can put your hands down. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did guess it. Yes. I'm ready. Okay, wonderful. I think we're probably good now. I'm seeing more faces just kind of waiting. Okay, from here, we're going to work on the face. Okay, so I'm going to go in and erase my circles now because I no longer need those. He is not, a, did I call him? I don't think he's in this class. He's not here, regardless. Okay, thank you. Okay, from here, I'm going to add a little fin on his head, kind of like a shark. Okay. And then I'm going to erase this line right here. And add just a sliver in the center to give it that more 3D-like feel, like it's on his head but not awkwardly connected with a line. Okay? Would you add the um, Chinese dragon horn on it? The head? next thing we're going to do, go away, is start with a little circle right underneath the fin for his eye. I don't know why I'm genderizing him. Probably shouldn't do that. It's all right. And we're going to put another little circle right next to that one. It is, but if I zoom in, like, you see it? Woo, woo. <coughs> yes. Yes. Sorry if I'm making music, I'm trying to readjust. Is it focused? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead with his mouth. We're going to draw a line right so, okay, close to the eyes, but not right underneath it. And then we're going to draw a tooth, like that, okay? You can add nostrils now if you want to, but I'm not going to do it till the next section. We're still in part, we're still in phase two. Okay. Is it okay to move on now? Yes. yes. Or do you need me to wait a little bit? Yes? Yes, once we get to the finished section, like, because right now we're going to add in some things, and if you want to add in other things later, you are absolutely welcome to, okay? But I would love it if you would take the steps with me, and then if you feel like after we've finished him that you want to add more, you can, or erase what you didn't like. I'm good with that, okay? So, the next part is we're going to draw his, like, scaly belly, okay? So, we're going to start with a line right next to the bottom of his face, okay? And we're going to take that line and basically trace the line that's underneath it, okay? We're just going to follow it, and then we're going to taper it down here at the bottom, okay? Because we have this twisty turn here. It gets a little complicated, but if you just watch along, you'll be fine. So right on that twist in here, we're going to bring this line down and stop right there. 
And then we're going to take it down on the bottom and pull that line and then taper it once again. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to go in and erase some of it so you can see the line a little bit better. What do you got? Are you caught up on something, Pollock? Are you good? I'm good. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. From here, you have two options. You can go simple and just do straight lines down, okay? Or you can do what I'm going to do and create little bumps along the way, okay? And the reason why I choose bumps is because it looks more realistic. So if I show you first period, okay, the little bumps give it a little bit more texture than just lines. Oh, wow. However, you can do lines if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my little bumps. I might take a little bit longer because it's just more detail, but if you want to just do lines, you can, but then you just have to like sit and wait for me to finish. So I have my line in. I'm going to erase it just a hair so I can come in and do the little bumps. What? Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this little sliver of a line, get rid of it just a little bit so that I still have the marker, but I can come in with my little bumps and it doesn't obstruct <coughs> this little line I'm creating. You should hear when they're like cleaning up there. Like my whole ceiling shakes. Really? It's every really period? annoying. Every period? Not every period, just when they're like cleaning. Is that why you have like this little stick on your projector? No, my projector doesn't like to stay tilted. So that stick keeps it at the tilt. So that it is actually covering the whole thing. Because if it doesn't, then my projector brings it all the way to my ceiling. And then we can't even see half the screen, so. Okay, so how many of you opted for just the lines? Okay, how many of you are doing the little bubbles? Yay, I love it. That's awesome. Everybody has their own dragon now. Everybody's going to have a very different looking dragon. Whatever you want. My first car that I got when I was 16 was a Ford Taurus, but it was the color, like that light bluish color of Stitch. So I named it Stitch because it had the two eyeballs in the front. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I loved that car. And then it died. And then I got another car, but it was silver. And I named him Bubbles because, you know, Mr. Bubbles from Lilo and Stitch. Do you guys know Mr. Bubbles? Yeah, there was the, the guy that's like a social worker. Yeah, he's really funny. And the only time he goes in is like, he thinks that was really bad. Uh huh. And then my last car, the one I have now, is gold. So I named him Lumiere because he's the candlestick from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Yeah. What? The one that's right under the tree? No, but it's pissing me off because that's my spot. I know, I, I that, that is my spot. I hate but places. all the tires, if you look at them, all the tires are flat. Yeah. I don't know whose it is. I'm about ready to call the cops and like get it hauled out because kind of it's, it's bugging me. Why? Okay. I don't know. I to take Let's. I mean, I'll take it. You all just can't say nothing. Okay, let's move on here. You realize I'm recording, right? Okay, so uh, they don't know my name. right about in the center here, okay, 
on that center line, we're going to start the joint for one of its wings. Okay, so you're going to draw just a little bubble line right there. Okay, we're going to do a little loop back. And then this same line that we did first, we're going to do again, and we're going to stop right here. I'm going to wait till everybody gets to this spot. All if you feel wings. comfortable, yeah, we're doing the wings. Yeah, if you feel comfortable to go on, you can. Now, the back side of these wings, I want you to draw them however you want. But if you're like, I don't know what I want, you are welcome to just keep following along with me, okay? So from here, we're going to draw a nice long line that comes out and then to a point. What line are you on, Poe? Uh, this one? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're just coming out and then you're going back and then repeat. Are you guys all ready now to move on to this side of the wing, or do you need to wait for just a second? I'm ready to move on. Okay. So down here, we're actually going to take a line. We're going to go the opposite direction, like that. So right down here, just pulling in. So these two meet together. And because I want my wing to look really big, I'm even going to pull that line just a little bit further down. Ooh, that looks fun. From here, again, you can design this section however you want. I, however, am going to just do two simple things. I'm going to loop in. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to create a little bubble and then a point. Okay? Again, if you want to play with it, have fun and see what you can create. You are all welcome to just go ahead and have fun with it. Before we, uh, we can complete this wing, go ahead on the inside and erase that line so it is officially connected to your serpent. It looks like one of the um, avatar dragons. <coughs> My last class, I had some kids like attach like funny little arms to them, which I thought was funny. I say go for it. Do what you want. Okay, we're going to put in the second wing now, and then we'll move on to phase three. Okay? So, well, he can't just have one wing on one side. He'll just be flapping around like that. We're, no, no, no. We need to have both wings showing because technically this is just one wing. We haven't put in the second wing. So what you're going to do now is we're going to come on the other side up like we did, and then bubble it, like we did, and then just bring that line straight back, okay? And then on the inside of the wing, it's just another line that connects the two, okay? So we've done that outside line, and then we're gonna come in and give it the inside line. And I'm even going to readjust it once more so that the thickness of my wings match. Like this? There you go. Yep. Okay. So after phase three, which is this next phase, you are welcome to do whatever you want with this snake, serpent, dragon thing. Okay? And also... If I was to color this serpent red, what could you also count this for? The sketch. Yes. So I'm literally giving you a freebie. No, okay? I'm, I'm just going to make this like... So if, no, and that's what I'm saying. You can have it just be an own fun sketch, or you could color it red. 
and use it as a freebie for this week's sketch. <gasps> I am being so Sorry. nice. Isn't that amazing? I've already made it. Um, and that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm just giving those of you that maybe haven't started your weekly sketch a leg up. What is the red? I'm going to make it. You have to color it red. Red. We're not done yet. Okay. Next section. We're going to start with the tail because it's super easy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in just two like little raindrop shapes. You can do whatever you want, but I like the little raindrops. I think they're fun. Okay. Then we're going to move on to the wings because we actually did not complete the other wing. Okay. So if you see here, we have this line that comes up here nice and sharp. Well, we have to make sure that we can find the wing on the other side. So you see this little ghost line that I've made right here, right? So then I'm just going to pull that wing out and kind of mimic the shape. that I had, and then bring it back. Ms. Carter? Yes? Can I get Maximus McGathy down to the office? McGathy he is actually the with the SPED team right now. Okay, do you know where he went? Nope. Okay. Sorry. Thanks. So, we have our second wing. Now, I'm going to move on to making the wings fun. I'm going to put little talons on the edge here. <coughs> Okay. And then on the insides of these, we got to put in its little joints. So I'll put a line there. And then we'll put a line that comes here and here. Is that the joint? Yeah, those are the joints. Kind of like, you know how when you guys look at your knees, you can see your joints? Or your elbows. Yep. Same thing with wings, right? And then the simple part. Wait, what? Sorry. Wait, um, Did I go too far? Um, this guy? No, no, no. This one? Yeah. yeah. And then the next part's really easy. We're just going to draw little lines here and here. We're almost done. we got to work on his face, and then I'm going to give you guys an option to put in or not put in. Like a freebie? Yeah, freebie. Okay, on the face, because I don't really love this line, I want him to have more of a nose. I'm going to actually pull this down and then out. So if I erase the lines that are already there, he's got a little bit of a bump right at his like nose. I'm going to put in a line right down here for his nostril. To make his eyes look slightly more menacing, I'm going to pull a line back, up, and over. Oh, like, oh, like that? Mm-hmm, kind of like that. And then, do snakes have pupils like ours that are circles? No. no. What do they look like? Points. They're like... Vertical really ovals. tiny ovals, right? Like a pointy Slits. oval. So we're just going to do one slit on one side and one slit on the other side inside his eyeball. And then right, sorry. I'm trying to see the it's going to be kind of blurry, but is that helping? Sort of. Let's see if I can zoom in or focus. Ooh, look, guys, it's better. That's way better focused, right? I know, right? So I kept zooming. Wonderful. So right down here, we're actually going to cut in, and then we're going to kind of bring this out, and then I'm going to erase that line in the center there, and now we see it go from like a bump, bump instead of a smooth line. Do you guys see that difference? Okay. It's tiny, tiny details, but they make a big difference. 
Okay, so we have officially finished everything that is required for bell work. Now I'm going to give you one option. Do we want to put spikes all the way down his back? Or do we want to do just like one design that's like thin? And let me show you really quick. So this is what last class decided. That little thin line. We could do that again, or we could do like little spikes all the way down his back. Spikes. Do you guys want to do spikes? Yeah, spikes. Okay. If you don't want to do spikes and you want to do that thin line on your own, you are welcome to do that. So we're just going to come in and give them little spikes. And you can put them close together. You can put them far apart. I'm going to need help with spikes. You could look up images that you like. And I'm doing a big one and then a little one and then a big one and then a little one. But you guys do whatever you want. This is your serpent dragon. I'm going to stop right here because it's coming in, which means it is going to twist here. So we'll come back with spikes this direction. Stop and then revisit the spikes down here. And you are finished. So from this point, you can do whatever you want to him. You can give him antlers, you can give him arms, you can give him little feet, you can have him blowing fire, whatever you want to do with it, okay? Do it. Do it. I love that. So while you are all working on your serpent dragons, okay, when you finish with your serpent dragon, what? A worm? A worm? A worm? Worm. Yeah. Worm. A worm. Okay, that's fancy. Is that what they're called? Yeah. It, no, actually, that would be, yeah, that's a weird. Oh, interesting. Two, like, 